Number 32, consider a battery made from one half cell that consists of a copper electrode in one molar CuSO4 solution and another half cell that consists of a lead electrode in one molar PbNO32 solution. So now we have letter C. They say most devices designed to use dry cell batteries can operate between 1 and 1.5 volts. Could this cell be used to make a battery that could replace a drywall? Or not a drywall, but a dry cell battery? Why or why not? Okie dokie. Now, the thing that we need to answer this question is what is that standard cell potential of this reaction when we have the copper and the lead? Now, if you don't know where we got this value from, I highly recommend you checking out 32A because that's where we get this value. So basically, we have a battery, and our battery in the single cell will produce a volt of 0.45 volts, right? It will produce a, a cell potential of 0.45 volts. Now, dry cell batteries, which are your AA batteries, your AAA batteries that you use in your, uh, your television remote controls, they can operate only between 1.0 and 1.5 volts. Now, if we just draw out our 1.0 volts all the way to 1.5 volts, basically, if we wanted our battery to run like a dry cell battery, I need to have my voltage in between 1 and 1.5. Now, just having a single cell would not do the trick because this, the 0.47 volts, is less than 1. But however, the great thing with batteries is that you can, you know, put them in series and you can have maybe two cells. So here's my one cell and here's my two cells, right? And let's just see, okay, here's the battery, whatever, they're connected. The one battery is going to produce the 0 0.47 volts. Maybe I'll just put that on this side. 0.47 volts, and then the other one is going to also have 0.47 volts, right? Maybe if I connect them in series, I can have it used as a dry cell battery. So I add the two together, 0.47 plus 0.47, and we get 0.94. So the total voltage here still would not act as a dry cell. So this is battery number one and number two. But I can have maybe now three connected in series. So here's the first battery, here's the second battery, here's the third battery. And they're all producing a single volt of 0 0.47. So 0 0.47 for this, 0 0.47 for this, and 0 0.47 for this. If I just take 0.47 times 3, because now they're acting in series, I have three batteries. That's 1.4 one volts and the 1.41 fits in between one volt and 1.5 so it would be somewhere around maybe here 1.41 volts and this would be a battery that's in series you would have basically the three batteries that are in the series they're connect you know they're communicating with each other to give a overall power a voltage of 1.41 uh, 1 volts. And that's the answer. So could this cell be used? Yes. But it could only be used in series if you have the three batteries hooked up together and maybe, you know, just like do something like that. And that will produce the 1.41 volts and then it could operate as a dry cell. All right. So thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and tell your friends about this channel. Just gets the word out there that this channel exists. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.